What's up, Magical Misfits? Drew here. Happy Samhain. So this is the last Sabbath video that I'll be filming, at least for the foreseeable future, as I filmed what I did for Yule last year. So I've gone through the whole year now. Don't have a huge amount planned for the day, but I will take you along for what I am doing. I'm not really sure how the evening is gonna work itself out. My husband and I have discussed having a fire and um, I think we're just kind of gonna play it by ear and see how it shakes out. It may be a very sort of low key, personal, individual, um, just sort of hanging out with our deceased loved ones or what have you, or there may be something a bit more formal because we've done both. And I think we're just gonna wait and see what happens. As you know, if you've been watching my Sabbath videos that I usually like to do something kind of crafty, um, not actually doing that today only because I already did. Did you see my altar behind me? I, I dress my altar on the first of the month every month, and I like to take into account the mood of that month. But of course, if there is a Sabbath in that month, then that influences the altar as well. Thankfully, the energy of the moon is typically interpreted to be very similar to whatever the Sabbath is anyway. But seeing as I wanted to dress my altar on October 1st, I went ahead and did my crafty project. I wanted to do this Samhain last month, at the end of last month. And that is actually this little guy right here. So essentially it's the same thing that I did at Midsummer when I made my little fairy lantern. I had this big bottle left over from past Samhain. Um, I'm not sure if it was last year or the year before, but I had this big bottle left over from apple cider because I make apple cider every Samhain. And um, I decided I wanted to make an ancestor bottle out of it. So I found some images on the internet that I liked. And of course I've got these cute little bats on here too. And um, I actually placed them on the outside because the neck is obviously too small. Um, the same process as before um, with the tissue paper. And, um, a brain fart <laughs> couldn't think of the word um, I put a little bit of lace up here this is a cotton blossom and some cinnamon sticks and I painted the lid black and of course I stuck some fairy lights inside and that's basically it so it'd be kind of boring to rehash that anyway but that was sort of my Samhain-y craft this year you can't even see my rose see how pretty that is oh, I'll show you better at any rate, today um, I'll be preparing dinner because it needs to cook for a while. Um, I think it's technically supposed to go in the slow cooker, but that's where I make my apple cider, so it's not going in there. It's going on the stovetop. So we're having corn potato chowder. My fall allergies are the worst. Um, okay, so I'll be making that. Uh, obviously, I'll be making the cider. And I'm going to be making pumpkin bread. My men love their pumpkin bread. So I'll, I'll make as much of it as I can out of this one pumpkin I got, which is a big pumpkin sitting up here waiting. And that's how I'm going to be send, spending my day. Clearly, trick-or-treating comes into play. Uh, that's a very important part of Halloween for me. We've got our candy waiting for the trick-or-treaters, and we've got some stuff set up. I've got a little setup that I hope to work out. Um, that I'll show you if I do. And I plan to give myself a couple readings today for two different topics, at least one of them for sure. I want to explore further the, the best way to go about the shadow work I need to do with regard to the air dry clay spell I did not long ago. And um, I've decided to take my time with it and work on it up until Yule or ha as long as it takes, obviously, but that's what I'm shooting for, Yule. And I'm probably going to use one of Kellyanne's spreads. She has a ton of spreads if you look through her channel. I'm sure she has a playlist. I'm almost positive she has a playlist. Um, but she has a lot of spreads designed to help you with shadow work and figuring out where to go with that and whatever. So I'm probably going to use one of those. Um, I won't show that just because, I don't know. But um, I will take you along and, and show you all my goodies that I'm, I'm making. So come and celebrate Samhain with me, sort of, <laughs> part of my Samhain. Here's my beautiful rose I was telling you about, trying to show you. Isn't it pretty? Sorry, that was 
not the best camera work there. And over here we have all the candy. We hand out bags of candy. We are the good house. All right, here's my pumpkin. Uh, the apple's for the cider and the pomegranate is for ritual, for whatever me and my husband end up doing. Um, and then some disposable bread pans because I don't have bread pans, which I guess it looks like I can only make three loaves here. Um, hmm, we'll see. So the first thing I'm gonna do is hack this big boy apart. And then I'm going to roast my pumpkin pieces in the oven, run them through my food processor, um, and that way they'll be all ready for me to go ahead and bake my pumpkin bread with. I can't help it, there's just something that I love about pumpkins and like acorn squash, different kinds of gourds that are just popped open like this. It's so pretty, look at, and it's sweating. <laughs> I just love a pumpkin. In my excitement for the pumpkin bread and the apple cider, I completely forgot about pumpkin seeds. And I also forgot that I always make my dogs pumpkin treats every year. So um, yeah, I'll be doing pumpkin seeds and pumpkin dog treats as well. So I finished my bread and I've got spoopy dog treats in the oven and I'm getting ready to cut my apple to put in my cider. Mine is a six-pointed star. <laughs> and here we are. These were on the bottom rack. They got a little browner, but pumpkin-y dog treats. This is Boo. I didn't put holes where the bee is. Oh, well. And uh, pumpkin and ghosts, and there's cat head and spiders and bats, and there's tombstone. Um, but yeah, they're really cute. And the dogs really enjoy them. They haven't had them since last Yule, so I know they're really gonna enjoy them. Um, after they cool down, I have to refrigerate them. They do need to be refrigerated. And um, at Yule, I'll make some more that are, you know, Christmas trees and stockings and stuff like that. Okay, so we got a little pink and bat for each of them. You guys want your treats? My mini pumpkin treats. Good girl. You got in his way. How could he even catch it? And we have a spider. We have a spider we're going to share. Oops. I'm trying to break it in the middle. You really suck, Paco. This makes me happy. This is my perfect Samhain snack. Next, it's time to prepare my soup and do my tarot readings. This year, we decided to get some dry ice for our display, our little altar set up outside when the kitties come up. Hopefully that'll capture their imaginations. It's so cute. Well, it is November 1st and, um, you know, we made it through the crazy day. It ended up being a really, really great salon. My Halloween was pretty good too. It was fun. Um, we didn't get nearly as many kids as we have in years past, um, maybe 10 or 15 this year. You can never tell how the year is going to go for that, but... It was still nice seeing them, it was fun. Um, my soup turned out really, really good. My chowder, it was so good. So everybody really enjoyed that. And I ended up getting Samhain presents, even though I wasn't expecting to. Um, I actually got a package from a dear witchy sister. Vicki over at Lilypad had sent me some things. Um, she was feeling I needed some stuff for protection, which I do. Um, yeah, I'm not going to get into it right now. Maybe I'll talk about it later, but <laughs> um, it's not anything I haven't talked about on my channel before. At any rate, she sent me some 
three of these little witch balls, which I only have one, so I was happy to have them. Um, they're harder to come by where I live. Not that they're not here, but we just don't have, I think they come off of gum trees or something. Uh, we just don't have a lot of these trees like around my immediate area. My husband will once in a while find them when he's out working and bring them home. She had made some capette and sent me some of that. I'm excited to see how that is because I made capette too, but I bet they smell completely different. Um, some hyssop from her yard, which I was in need of. And this is mullen root, which I've never used. I've never worked with before. So, And these are the rib bones of a snake which I have some, but mine are tiny compared. This snake was much bigger than the snake that I got my rib bones from. So, um, and there's this image candle as well. Ooh. This figure candle, which I'm not sure how I'm gonna use her yet. I actually think I'm just gonna put her away and wait till I need her for something. I'll know when the time is right. That's how I feel about it. Oh, and then there's these little nails too, which I love. I love them so much I almost don't want to use them. And then my husband gave me this big jar of snake skin. We were almost out, so I'm very happy about that. Apparently he knows a guy who owns like six snakes and can get me all the snake skin I want. So today I'm I'm gonna start breaking down my Samhain and Halloween decorations because I have both out. I consider them to be both. Um, you know, I've got, I've got things that to me are, are Halloween. <laughs> They're definitely not for me. They're not Samhain at all. Anyway, I'm going to start packing up some of that stuff and I need to redress my altar because I always do that on the first of the month. I'm going to edit and upload this video and basically just do as much relaxing as I can. For me, October is kind of a busy month, but November is a month of turning inward. It's a month of intuition and divination and self-reflection. And so I'm going to get myself into that space today. I hope that all of you had a beautiful Samhain. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And until next time, much love and gratitude.